Welcome everybody to another episode of Gary Responds where we read the comments from the best people on earth. The people that ride the skate line and have their ideas down. Let's talk about it. Christian Wheelock says, after all these years, it's so nice to see you still putting the same passion and humor in these videos, but we love skate line, so we don't do it. And we just love to talk to y'all and be here, give our thoughts and ideas and opinions. Yes, of course I have passion, bro. Elwood847 says, that Chima Ali Oop switch trade was nuts. Banging ass part, truthfully, bro. I never had him in like a favorite category. I'm not gonna say that I do now, but bro, watching that part, knowing that I've watched every Chima part, that just did some shit. Cause that switch tray alone is just like, whew, Chima's beast, bro. That shit was insane. Like if he fucked around and got it or did some crazy shit this year, I wouldn't be mad type shit. That part was one of those hectic ass life on the line, especially that double set, you fall on that. It's over for you. <laughs> Cable Cable says, bro, we need a Kayari Netsuke shout out. That kid went crazy in the semifinals. No, that kid is super good, bro. That, but he like, I think he fell in his finals run. He like missed the hill from front board. He is super good. He will be really good. Watch out for him in the future. But all this stuff like, oh, he won over Shane or Team Japan, bro. This is not the Olympics. That's not Street League. That's Tampa. All it counts is one run and it's ran by, you know, people that pretty much kind of understand what's going on. But shout out to everybody that was in that shit. I don't really care about contests, no way. Mark Castle says, I got like six pair of Glow Fusion shoes. They're great. I'm 45. I still love fat skate shoes. I skate a couple times a week and they hold up pretty good. Well, if you're 45 giving compliments to skate shoes, they must be all right. Because that's when you feel everything. All right? You can, you literally get sore from tying your shoes at 45. That's what I've heard. These are rumors. Uh, episode Beat says, Gary needs to sign that Netflix deal and do a stand-up comedy on the side. No. No, I need to enter like a dark web realm of somebody with the same amount of money, like that got all the Bitcoin money, that's doing an app where you can do stand up and say whatever you want, cause they ain't getting everybody up out of there. Now nah, still shout out Netflix if y'all wanna sign us. We'll, we'll do it. Price went up to 10 million. Mihaholo, Mihaholo, Fanbuski says, love you Gary, love Skateline. Every, two hour, every Tuesday I watch this show and forget about my worldly troubles. You're ridiculously real and on point. Every episode, love and respect, bro. Thank you so much. Uh, whatever you're going through, hope you get right through it and um, keep your head up and we're here to try to make you laugh every Tuesday, my boy. Or my, yeah, my boy. <laughs> Fuck. Jonathan Fryer says, Austin is on Globe because with former, he hangs out with a lot of surfers and for some strange reason, Globe, Globe sponsors a lot of really good surfers. Austin is prevalent in the surf community. I know that because, and also it's not spelled Austin that way. That's Austin, Texas. Austin is different. You know what I'm saying? It's A-U-S-T-Y-N. He spells it with a little flavor on it. You can see when he points the toe with the tray flip. It's got spice to him. Um, yeah, no, I, I get that. But it's just for a while he was wearing Vans. I, I just feel like he was, he should have had a better they, not better, I mean, Globe is all right. I, I fuck with Globe, I just didn't understand how they got him. Cause it wasn't like he was wearing them for a lead up, it just all of a sudden was something else than Globe. So that's why, I was just like, how? Kind of threw me off guard. Michael question mark says, ah, the old double blunt special for Tony Hawk. I remember that bro, especially if you had on the uh, the balance cheat, you could just do it all day around the whole park. I love that trick, man. Shout out to Jamie Floyd for making it real. That shit is insane. Foley Clouds says, Jack Olsen's kickflip back feet with a back nose month should have got best trick over Foy's. I'm a little with you and not. At the same time, a kickflip back feet with back nose month should have got a little more love than it did, because that's fucked up to kickflip back feet with a back nose month. But Jamie, front blunting, I don't know, sir. I, okay, to kickflip feeble grind, feebles will let you grind them all day. If you ever done one, all right? I love feebles. To slide it front blunt for more than two feet, very hard to do. And then to jump into 270 nose blunt after sliding that front blunt for about 10 feet, it's very hard to do, okay? Let's so understand that. Feeble back nose blunt is very hard, but feebles are like this trick that will allow you to do a lot once you understand them a little bit. Front blunts, not the case, it doesn't matter. They don't care. So with that, I would like to say one thing with two options. It's them links, click them. Peace out, Gary Responds. Love y'all. <laughs>